Hi, YouTubers. I'm making this video because I'm having a hard time using my 13-inch 2020 uh, MacBook Pro with two ports, and I'm using uh, Kindle Create to publish my book. And so I'm sharing this problem with you folks so that if you're having the same problem, you can use my solution. That was the specs on my Mac, and this is the specs on the Kindle Create software that I'm using. Given all of that, now let's move to the problem. Every time I created a KCB file uh, and then saved it, closed down, and then tr opened up my computer, and then tried to reload the KCB file, I would get this message. Well, the thing is, there's nothing open. As you can see from my slide here, if you pause it, uh, hang on a second. I, uh, I tried everything. I tried to delete all of the files and then uh, rerun Kindle Create. I did that a dozen times in different ways with new files, uh, with uh, new docx files. I even deleted KC uh, the the uh, Kindle Create twice and then reloaded it uh, to get fresh copies. I'll show you some more slides of some of the crazy things that uh, Kindle Create and my computer were doing together. But in, in summary, what happened was every time I would close down and save everything and then the next day get up and try to uh, work on the files, I would get a message like this that literally drove me crazy. My solution, and I know the Apple people in this world are not gonna like it, but my solution was I literally went back to my old PC, loaded uh, the Kindle uh, Create software, and uh, on my old PC, um, finished my uh, book and uploaded it to uh, Amazon for sale. It's disposable human beings, and it's available now. I want to show you the how I got to the .x file, which uh, Kindle Create loves. Okay, what happened was I created the file in Apple Pages. At that point in time, I could have exported it out from Pages to a .x uh, file. <clears throat> A word file that uh, Kindle Creates loves, but I didn't do that. I instead opened up uh, Google Docs, used their um, used their spell check and grammar check function, which helped me find all kinds of crazy things that I mistakes I made. And from Google Docs, I uh, saved it out to a docx. Word file again, the kind that Kindle Create loves. Now that I have a Word file, let's open up Kindle Create. By the way, it's a fantastic piece of software, easy to use, very intuitive, uh, very, uh, very pleasant to work with. So, now what I did was I imported my Word file, and as you can see, the import was successful. But that's not my problem. My problem is that once I do all the work in Kindle Create, close it, open it the next day, I get that crazy message. The load was uh, successful, and now I get this message from Kindle that says, hey, let's get started. And I was. I was ready to make an e-book and a hard copy book, and I was ready to go to press. And now, using Kindle software, let's look at some of the other features. The first thing Kindle Create wants you to do <clears throat> is build a uh, is build a TOC, a table of contents. I did this. I did this a number of times before I realized that let's just run a test and use the bare minimum instead of um, building a a complete book and then saving it and then not being able to open it again and do work on it. That's crazy. 
in the place where you build your table of contents, you can also create other front matter, like a title page and uh, the copyright page, a dedication page. Now, as you can see, there's a whole list but you, of front matter, but you don't have to uh, create all of that, just the ones that you, uh, you feel compelled to uh, use. Like I say, the first couple of passes, I did this, and then I finally just got down to a table of contents, the copyright page, and uh, the body of the book itself. This is a, uh, an example of my table of contents. And like I say, this Kindle Create software is it's just a jewel. It's so easy to use, so intuitive. But um, <clears throat> if you have a Mac like I do, and you're using their software, you may wind up blunting your pick a half a dozen times like I did. And that's why I'm creating this. Now, just as an aside, I haven't seen a whole lot of YouTube complaints about Kindle's Create software and my, Mac and my Macintosh version. Uh, I have seen some complaints about an M1 chip. Now, that's a, a, a computer that's a little bit more loaded than mine and I don't have the M1 chip, and that's why I specified that I only have two ports, because the M1 comes with four ports, I believe. But I digress. Let's get back to Kindle Create software. Not only do you create the front matter, which is the table of contents, the copyright page, uh, the thank yous, you also create the back matter, and that's uh, maybe the author's picture and bio, maybe a prologue or an afterthought. But I got to the point where I stopped creating uh, the, um, the back matter and just went right straight to closing files and trying to open them again. But if you're new to Kindle Create, here's a little uh, inside look at how your book would look uh, if it were under a tablet or if it were an ebook, or if it were... Um, like I say, Kindle Create's very robust in that it will allow you to have views of what your content would look like, you know, on an iPhone or on a tablet. It's uh, really good stuff. I want to show you this because this is before it went crazy. And I'm, the next slide is to show you the crazy. Uh, what you're trying to achieve is a file that's called Case that ends in kc.kcb. That's the file that is, um, you, you close and then you come back and you open it up and it's, you know, fantastic. And, and that's the file that I eventually wound up using on my old PC uh, after I loaded the uh, Kindle um, Create software on my PC. Now I want to dwell on this slide for a while because this is where it started going bonkers. When I was saving my work, it would save it, and then it would give it a number, like kc1.kcb, okay? And then it would save it again as uh, kcb2.kcb. And so, um, so every time I tried to open, every time I closed everything down, and then tried to start my project back up again, I would get the message that there's a file open. Now, I reported this to Kindle. Uh, they have an automatic reporting system, and I haven't heard back from them. But like I said, every time I would save, it would create a KC1 and then a KC2, and I'd do a little bit more. I'd add some table of contents and maybe some back, and then save again. I'd get a KC3 and a KC4. Then when I would close out, the, uh, shut the whole file down for the evening and then come back the next morning to work on it, I'd get this message that there's files open and that they can't open my, uh, that they can't open my uh, KCB file. Okay, now what I did was I downloaded uh, the software, the Kindle Create software onto my PC, my old PC, and uh, created a book that was uh, a file that ended in dot KC, KCB, closed it, 
Next day, opened it, worked on it some more, added some front matter, some back matter, closed it, opened it, closed it, opened it, had no problems at all. Again, my goal was to share with you the frustration I had using uh, my PC, I'm sorry, with my using my Apple and Kindle software create and uh, kept getting this message right here. So if you're getting that, if you're getting that message, my solution was to break out the old PC, download the Kindle create software and do the magic there. If you go up to amazon.com and look at disposable human beings, you'll see that my book is there and it's no thanks to the to my MacBook Pro. It's all thanks to my old time PC computer. Uh, I hope this helps you guys. Instead of blunting your pick on this message, perhaps you have a different solution than mine. Here's wishing you the best of luck. And if you're working on a book, I hope you the best of luck there too. I'm gonna let this slide uh, show for a while.